Hello everyone, welcome back. Safety and productivity are the two most important challenges for your industry. You might not get it, what I am talking about if you have not seen my first video. So to know more about it, click the link below. But let me first introduce with my colleague as I have promised to you in our last video. He has more than 15 years of experience in product engineering field. He works with the multiple industries. He has expertise in product regular compliances and the mass manufacturing. He is the CEO of iPhone, Mr. Hitesh. Thank you so much uh, for introduction, Paris. So Hitesh, everyone is excited to know more about that what kind of solution we have made for the safety and productivity. There is no precision about the worker's productivity as well. At the end of the day, it's your concern about the worker's safety. So here we are coming with the smart fuel industry product, smart helmet. First time I have listened to this word, smart helmet. Can you please tell me more about it, that what technology we have used in a smart helmet? Sure. So in this smart helmet, we have different kind of sensors, which includes uh, worker's biometric sensing. It also includes the movement of the workers as well as it has the some air quality and the guest sensor applications along with the geolocations. Great! It is really helpful to the industry. So can you please elaborate like I, we want to know more about it like we are very excited to know that how, how it works in an environment like in which industry is helpful. Uh, it can help in the different industries like the construction industries, oil and gas industries, food in the industries where you know the workers movement as well as the asset tracking as well as well as the some of the gas sensing is very important you say worker health but most of the point that you have discussed right now it is related to geo fencing you say about the gas leakage but what kind of worker safety is useful as you know that in some of the uh, previous uh, many accidents happens like the gas leakage where many workers has died okay so in this as well as the where some chemical industries where you know confined space is there where some kind of the gas leakage is there so it is very important to sense this leakage before any hazardous uh, action happens so for that in our smart helmet we have gas sensors uh, which can you know help workers as well as the supervisors to monitor the gas if it is above some confined level then it will alert to the supervisor so they can you know timely evacuate the workers wow it's really a revolutionary product. I think in an industry we have not seen this kind of product. But I want to know more about like how it measures the regular data of worker. Does any kind of sensor for a workers to like uh, they can like the recently the happen is COVID. So like SPO2 is that kind of any measurement for the workers also? Yeah, of course. So there are uh, body temperature sensor of the workers. There are heart rate and SPO2 sensor is there as well as the accelerometer which tracks the movement of the workers along with that is one of the major uh, application is the geo fencing okay so some of the places in the industry which is hazardous and which is restricted for the workers so through this geo fencing we can always get the notification if someone crosses that geo boundary and it will help to notify the supervisor that something is wrong happening so they can take the timely actions there so it is you say that the geo fencing like so what can I understand? Like, if I use in a mining industry, so if someone is can be cross the mining area, there might be the issue of bomb lab. So they can track it. Yes, of course. So for mining industry, we can draw a geo boundary, geo fencing, and once worker across that boundary, we will get notified and we can save the worker's life there. Similar way, it can also use in the construction area where high, heavy cranes are there. So we can also uh, restrict that geolocation for the workers sounds nice i think it's very helpful for the industry but one more question is regarding to the safety of workers then my question is regarding to the certification is like regular compliance does it is passed on the regular compli uh, compliance yeah of course so we are working on right now on the regulatory compliances uh, this product will be you know certified for the uh, ce fcc as well as the some of the safety compliances Great, then I think this product is mostly ready for the industrial trial. Yeah, of course. So we are ready and we will soon begin with the launch. Okay, now one more important thing this is a smart device. So there is a issue of battery. I think there is a battery usage on our device. So how the safety can be measured if the user is wear a helmet on a head? So is there any kind of battery blast issue or something? 
No, no, that's that's not a concern because our battery is UL safety certified, and we also make sure that all the uh, regulatory compliance, like the you know radiation from the device, it's already taken care, taken care, and it is well within the standard limit of the regulatory. So if I am right. Our helmet can be work on any environment. Either it's too cold or either it's too hot. It works for everyone. Yeah, it sets uh, operating temperature range from minus 10 to 60 uh, Celsius, so it can work very smooth uh, in this range. Okay, then one more question: Is there any kind of SOS features or you can say safety feature if any alert from the worker side they have to say to the supervisor? So do that can uh, happen with the helmet? Yeah, of course. So we have SOS. A button which can uh, worker press and it alerts can go to the supervisor as well as the cloud service. Similar way, we have the audible alert system for the workers. So if a uh, supervisor want to say some audible alerts, then it can be heard by the workers and they can gather at the assembly area for any emergencies. So it is. You said so many things about the helmet and so many features in one helmet. But what is the design of the helmet? Like, I, did we really want to know that? Does it fit in with our normal helmet or we have to buy some bigger helmet or some, something else? That's a really good question for us. Our solution is very small and compact, which can be fit in any industrial helmets. It will give comfort to the workers while wearing the helmet as well. So, let's grab this smart helmet and make your workforce very productive and safety concerns. Thank you Vitesh, it's really a good information for the every industrialist. Everyone is looking for their worker safety and get the productivity. I think all everyone likes about smart helmet that we have made for the industrial life. So if you have any query regarding to the smart helmet then you can contact us anytime.